Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NASEC. Recently, I have introduced three dockers to create your own web application dashboard. Those three dockers are Dash Machine, Heimdall, and Homer. You can find out them from my previous video here. All those three will require a certain server or certain service to be installed. Actually, I found another GitHub project which not require any server or service to be installed since it is running on Cloudflare Workers Edge Network. It is super fast, also completely free. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create one for yourself. Let's start it. First, let's look at uh, how it looks like. That's the web page I created already for myself. You can see it is 51 sec side dashboard and there's a couple of categories, cybersecurity, info security, 51 sec apps, technologies and learning. You also have a search bar here. The GitHub project I created is based on Sleepwood CF Dash Worker Dash DIR project. It was written in Chinese. I have completely translated and put a little bit more explanation on the description of this project. I'm going to show you step by step how we can create this web application dashboard using Cloudflare workers. Of course, you need to have Cloudflare account to start with it. Once you logged in, you will see the workers on your right panel. You may already have a couple of them as I did here. I already have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it and then we're going to create it from scratch. So you go into settings, go to settings page, and then you can delete it. So now our next step is to create our new worker for this web application dashboard. The only thing we need is this index.js file. We can copy whole thing without even change our wording. Just cloud workers, completely replace it. And immediately on the right panel window, you should be able to see this exactly same as what I have. You can change the name. So I would like to use Insights. Make sure save and deploy. So this is going to be our temporary URL to access to it before we can assign our own subdomain to it. We're going to use in workers.dev this domain to access to it. As you can see, there's some not up yet. There's some settings. It's not right. But uh, since the load the edge network gonna load in those configurations slowly. It may take a couple of seconds to get it to refresh it. After I refreshed the page using Control F5, the page is loading correctly right now. Let's not now go back to our main home page in our Cloudflare 
what we want to do is we want to create a domain for it, subdomain under itproject.com. Right now we don't have sites domain here. We're going to add a new record. We're going to call it site. Then IPv4 address, we can use in any of them. And just using Cloudflare DNS IP. Since it's not being allowed to use, I'm going to use Google DNS IP. After we create the A record, we go back to top menu workers. We're going to create a route. Add a route for it. It's going to be site.itproject.com star. And it's going to point into site. Save for it. Now we are able to try site.itproject.com, this web page. So that's how simple it is. Copy the code, create your subdomain, and mapping the workers' route to your workers. There's something I want to point out is the features of this project. Let's go back to the code side and do quick edit. So we're going to quickly go through the configurations. As you can see, you can change your title and the subtitle and also icon. The search engine has been created for and You can add it to your own search engine. There's something called a selling ad here. I turned it off, but uh, let's try to turn it on and see how it looks like. It's also, it's a Hitokoto section. We can create it as well. We can enable that. So then we enable two sections in the, these configurations. So after that, here is the website you're going to put in here. You're going to create in section here. Under the section, it's a list. You will put the URL, name, and description. The favorite icon will be automatically fetched by this program. So they will try to get your favorite icon and then use it as your icons. So now we're going to save it. So the change is going to immediately take into effect. We're going to refresh page and see the difference. As you can see here, now we have this since shows up. That's the section we enabled in the configuration. Hitokoto. It will show you one sentence from the data online database. And also we enable a second section is a like list domain section, which if you like this domain you can sell for it. For example, you can put um, your domain here to sell it. And then you have your contact information. So you can customize it. For me, usually I will put them on a force. I don't need those two features. So you can just put them in force and then hide in them. The whole thing is running on Cloudflare Edge Network, which is not taking any of your own servers, resources, or service. It's completely coming from a Cloudflare Edge Network. Since we put those two sections off, we can just refresh again. It's gone now. Personally, I'm using this project to organizing all my website, all the application created by myself. Um, as you can see, I have some of them here. Hope you enjoyed this project. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you for watching.